Okay, in this video we are going to learn about shapes and uh, how to bring them onto the work plane and move around them and change their shape and things like that. So uh, the first thing I want you to, to note is if your right hand menu looks like this, um, one of the things that I want you to do first is to go to this shape up here, um, which is just a geometric shape. If you click on that or you click on this little triangle, you're going to get the same result, which is it's going to bring up some very basic shapes. Um, we call these in, in 3D design, you might hear them called primitives. So this one is a box. And what I'm going to do is I click once on the box. And just by clicking on it, I can now bring it onto my work plane. I, I'm not, I didn't have to hold the mouse button down. All I had to do is click. And it kind of follows my mouse. And then when I click again, it sets the box down. Okay, so that's our first step is bringing in new shapes. I'll even bring one more in. I'll click on cylinder once and I'll just move my mouse over here and the cylinder follows my mouse until I click again to place it onto my board. Alright, so this was this is a great thing to do to be able to bring shapes up here but it doesn't help if we don't know how to move around them. And so you can use these tools here. If you look up at the top I'm hitting the right arrow to say move around or rotate to the right. You can move the left arrow to say move around to the left. Okay, Up and down do the same thing. Plus and minus zoom you in and out. Okay, But you can also just use your mouse your mouse buttons. So it, hopefully in your in the class that you're in right now your mouse has three buttons. The regular mouse button that you push is called the left mouse button. Okay. And if I click and hold that left mouse button right here, I don't really get anything. But you also have a right mouse button. And if you click and hold that right mouse button, you should be able to rotate left and right like I'm doing now. I'm just clicking and holding my right mouse button. Okay. And if I move it up and down, I come up and down on my plane. And you can do this by practicing. And then lastly, if you have a middle mouse uh, scroll button, you could actually go in and out. Okay in and out like that. Okay, one last thing about the in and out and a scroll button. Uh, so as you can see, I'm scrolling forward and scrolling backward and it's taking me in and out. But the other thing you can do is that scroll button can actually be pushed down. And when you push down the scroll button and hold it, this is called panning. It actually allows you to move across the screen. So Again, I'll click and hold on the button, the middle button, and I move back and forth, and that's 